a shoplifter in action, watched by an exchange surveillance camera. This is the front line in the war against retail robbery, where last year shoplifters stole almost a quarter of a million dollars worth of merchandise from overseas exchanges and a lot more from stateside stores. But the exchanges are fighting back. We're constantly improving our detection capability. In addition to the physical safeguards in our, in our facilities, such as two-way mirrors and observation booths, we're installing closed circuit television uh, systems in many of our stores to assist our exchange detectives. The average commercial retailer in the United States loses about 2% of annual sales to shoplifters. Losses for the Army and Air Force Exchange Service have remained below 1% for the past 10 years. But those losses hurt everyone in the military. Unlike civilian retailers, half of our earnings are returned to the military community for support of morale, welfare, and recreation activities. So every dollar's worth of merchandise that is lost to a shoplifter is one less dollar of earnings. Cafferty says November and December are traditionally the months of greatest shoplifting. We're particularly vulnerable during the holiday season because of increased numbers of customers in our stores and also because that's the time of year when everyone's finances get a little tighter and thus the temptation to steal may get a little stronger. Cafferty says that last year almost 2,800 shoplifters were caught in overseas exchanges and even at the holiday season all shoplifters are turned over to military or security police. Warren Lee, AFRDS, Washington.